Hi, I'm Dr. Christopher Cortman, and now for the Mental Health Minute. In the last five videos, we've been talking about the process of communication and the importance of validating your partner and being an excellent listener and demonstrating that before I say anything, I've understood you. But what happens when things go awry and we have conflict between us? I'd like to share with you some steps for handling the conflict. First of all, either one of us can note that one, one or the other is getting hot, that is angry or upset. And if that's the case, I'd like to insert in our process the ability to call timeout. Those of us who are sports fans know that when things are going awry in the football game or the basketball game, the coach has the ability to say, hey, time out, time out, guys, come on back. What's going on here? Who's supposed to guard 23? And, and, and we, we calmly talk about things and we set things up all over again. Well, in a timeout, there should be some amount of time so that each person knows that this is not going to go on for days. It's not going to be a conflict that lasts you know, for seven days or two weeks or, 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 or more because couples don't communicate. A timeout is a limited amount of time. And we need to use that time wisely. How do we do that? I'll share that with you in the next Mental Health Minute.